This one's going to be on Google Translate CLI. Uh, basically from the name, you can actually translate stuff from the command line here. And so once you install it, it's just called Translate. All right, and then um, by default, it translates to English, so you don't have to do any extra flags. But let's say you want to translate, um, hello, amigo, uh, from Spanish to English here. All right, and I'll say hello, friend there. Uh, a short way to do this is you don't have to type out the whole thing translate. You can just type out TRS and then you can do um, you know the same thing here. And then it'll say hello friend or whatever. Um, if you want to translate to you know not English then you can always do what is that in curly braces here. And you type in equals. Let's say you want to translate to French or something. Right then it'll say Bonjour, ami. Uh, if you want to translate more than one language, instead of typing just French, you do plus. And let's say we do maybe Polish and maybe Thai. I think that's what it is here. Right, so translate into what's that? The French, uh, I think Polish, and then Thai there. Now, you have to have fonts for these other languages if it doesn't you know, work or whatever. So that's that, and I think that's pretty much it for the program. Um, well, if you have like, um, let's say for example, if you're doing like, um, they have like, you know, like in Spanish, they have like explanation marks and stuff like that, and uh, some other symbols. If you do that, you see that it will give you like this stupid thing. So when you when you have those um, characters, uh, you want to escape it, you can do like a slash. And then you can do like that, and then you can do the translation, right? So if you have some characters, you just hit the what's that? The slash sign, like this slash line, and you can translate it basically. Other things, well, if you want to get more help on it, there's no like man or anything like that. You just type in the the program name, either uh, translate or just TRS, and I'll tell you how to use it. Um, which I already explained how you use it, but you can actually go to their page and this other page here. This one is where you get the language code. So let me open that here. Insert that. And in here, they'll show you the language code if you don't know like which country, um, you know, the, the, the names of it here. So you can see that if I want to translate to Bulgaria, you can do the BG and uh, some of these other ones like Chinese and stuff like that right so these are where you go to get your language code if you need to know that anyways that's pretty much it for the program uh, one last thing here is that you can actually translate text too so I have this text here where the hell is it at there you go this Spanish um, poem here let me cut it out here All right it's just something I uh, copy paste and uh, not sure it was going to be accurate, but I mean, you could translate it just uh, from the text file. So if I do, what is that, TRS, and this one's a Spanish poem, and it should translate into English uh, one line at a time. And there you go. Hopefully, well, this one doesn't make sense, but, uh, you know, other ones you can try it out, see if it makes sense or not. Anyways, that's Google Translate from the command line. Um, try it out if you need to.